Hey guys, welcome back to Texas Yacht. Um, we are out at that, uh, the Milo field tonight. Behind me you can actually see it, uh, part of it. And with me tonight is Robert. He's uh, sighting in his uh, Thor HD 384, 4.5. Uh, he just got a new build from uh, ATX Armory, it's a 300 Blackout pistol, um, so he's pretty, pretty excited about it, I think. Um, taking a shot at the target, um, getting the Thor all sighted in. Once we have that done, uh, we'll be moving, not to this field back here, but all the way down there. Um, that's the field we, we've been hunting um, a few weeks, a few weekends ago. Um, we've seen lots of hogs in here. The challenge was, however, the Milo was pretty tall, and even with the thermal, um, it's 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 quite difficult to see those hogs in there. So they disappear pretty pretty quick. You can hear them squeal and, and grunt and whatever um, all over the place. But we had a hard time uh, actually taking out a larger number uh, in that field. This changed because they they now harvested the Milo back here. That's a cut field. Uh, this is the first time I'm coming out now to this cut field. I'm really excited. I think we're going to see uh, quite a few hawks here tonight. Um, that'll be Robert's uh, first hawk, hopefully. So um, I'm hoping it's going to be a good night. The wind is good, um, so everything is in our favor. So hopefully that that actually works out. Um, worst case, um, we might head to a cornfield not far from here. I just met the farmer out there. He's uh, he just harvested um, some of the field, but they they're going to call it good for today. Um, but it's all back up just in case this field doesn't work out, which. I doubt. So stay tuned, let's see what we can make work here tonight. Robert's view, the uh, Thor HD 384. He's in four and a half base magnification right now in white hot. Just look at this bore, all black and white eyes. What a view! Good job. Good job. Should I take another shot? No. Now the same hog from my Thor HD 640. Um, I am the two and a half base magnification right now, looking at the whole thing in black hot. Again, the war shows up in the opposite, in this case white. You can see the eyes being black, and there he goes. Robert takes a shot, and the bore goes down. It didn't take long, maybe 20 minutes, until we had another boar coming in. Uh, you can see this guy walking in. Um, he seemed pretty decent size. Uh, had some, you know, black and some white spots on it. Uh, I'm still in black hot right now, so he is covered with some, some water. Um, the temperatures being um, at around 100 degrees right down Texas, um, those boars and those hawks um, look for the water holes to cool off um, before they go into the field to feed. Uh, he's coming closer. Uh, at this point, Robert um, is not in focus, so he wasn't recording. I take a shot. Uh, the 300 blackout puts the boar to the ground pretty quick. Hey 
Hey guys, uh, it's about 11.30 maybe something right now. Um, we've waited another hour to see if something else comes in, but um, nothing else showed up. We had one smaller hawk, um, maybe 120 yards away from us, um, but it kind of disappeared actually in the, in the cut milo, so you know, chances are it was actually a fairly small one. Um, it didn't take a shot at it or something, just let it go. Um, but we, we got those two uh, boars. Um, this one here is uh, the one which came in first. Uh, you might be able to see it's like all covered in mud. Um, pretty interesting. It, I was in uh, black heart, showed up all white. Um, I think Robert was in, in white heart. For him it showed all, all black. So again, it's uh, kind of like the opposite. Um, with that all being, you know, full of mud and, and wet and whatnot. Um, so I spotted it first coming in. Like back here, maybe um, maybe 100 yards out, um, that Robert now, um, he got all set up, got his uh, Thor HD384, and that's a four and a half base magnification. Uh, he got on it um, uh, at this point, I think it was maybe 70 yards in or something, and I just said, and that's, again, that's Robert's, it's your first hawk hunt, is it right? Yeah, very first time coming very out. Very first yeah. time, uh, very first time hawk hunting, very first time thermal, right? So, yep. Um, and that's your new uh, ATX Armory uh, 300 Blackout pistol. That's right. So first time shooting that. So all in all, it's a big old first. <laughs> big old first. <laughs> um, but yeah, I told him, hey, uh, shoot whenever you're ready. You know, I was I was ready for a follow-up shot just in case. Um, but he sent that thing uh, uh, down range, so to speak, and um, he just dropped it. I mean, it's a big old bore. I'm guessing he would be about 250. Uh, pounds, um, maybe minus 10, 10 pounds of mud, but it's a big bore, and he went down. I mean, again, uh, the Barnes Vortex uh, 300 blackout and 110 grain, um, excellent performance, uh, couldn't have been any better. So um, I did take one fall up shot just because he was kicking uh, a bit, but um, that was it. Maybe 20 minutes, uh, 30 minutes later, this guy comes in. Um, he, like mud-wise, he had some spots on him, but he was pretty clear to see. Uh, he came in from a different direction. Um, when I took a shot at him, he must, must have been maybe 60 yards. And uh, he dropped right away too, so I'm pretty happy with the shot. Um, I think shot placement, uh, I think on the other side, uh, just, be, just behind the ear, so pretty much textbook uh, shot. And again, he dropped right away. So. Um, Size-wise, I mean, he's not as, as muddy, but he's really beefy. Um, I'm guessing, um, again, we don't have anything to weigh him out here, but 250, uh, 270 maybe in that range, so pretty good size, has a, kind of like an orangey uh, look to him. But great night uh, all together, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, what did you expect from your first hog hunt, and is that what you had in mind? That is exactly better than what I had in mind. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Texas Yard and Ronnie for bringing me out for the first time. Uh, ATX Armory, thank you for my for my custom uh, ATX 15 uh, 300 blackout and the thermal uh, ATN Thor. Yeah, just an amazing product. Uh, couldn't have ha asked for a better day. <laughs> right? But yeah. Thanks a lot. I'm jealous over your 300 blackout uh, pistol. Um, that is uh, what I believe a 50% uh, burnt bronze and 50% uh, black Cerakote. So um, Justin did a mix here and it just turned out amazing. Um, I have one, my latest one is an all tungsten. Uh, it's a grayish uh, um, tone, but I really like the, you know, your color combination with there. Looks great and uh, obviously performed amazingly well. So, well, I think uh, we're gonna take back straps off these guys, um, maybe take a ham or two, um, and then we're going to head out from here. Um, we have a, a cornfield pretty close, um, that's the one I showed you earlier. Um, they just cut it, uh, there's a bunch of uh, corn ears on the ground and uh, just spilled corn too, um, so maybe we're lucky and uh, get another chance at a few hogs, but otherwise uh, I think even if not, this is a very successful night. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.